abandoned towards the end of the 15th century. Artifacts and fascinating displays give you a sense of what life was like in Galway over 700 years ago. That's the drive to suit that thing as well. Yeah. But that's the one or two. It's a bit of play at the end. Do you feel it? Oh, yeah. It's a real bad lesson of the night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a big American. <laughs> Different yeah. 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 Amongst the visitors to the church was Christopher Columbus, who prayed here during a visit to Galway in 1477. Let's welcome more Cromwell and his troops, who used the church as stables for the horses after the siege of Galway in the 1650s. If you look up at the clock tower, you will see there is only three clock faces with the north face missing. This is done to deprive the peasants living outside the city walls at the time of day. That's what you'd often hear along with wood. Also on our eyes is Lynch's window. In 1493, the window was used by the mayor, Hello. James Lynch, to hang his own cell. James Lynch, who also acted as magistrate for the city, convicted his own son for murdering his Spanishman. Although Lynch had the power to reprieve his son, he would not go back on his decision, as to do so would have shown weakness, and that his son was above the law. After the hanging, James Lynch suffered deep remorse, became a recluse, and never appeared in public again. Oh, okay. This is where the word lynching comes from. It was for a while to get this show through these streets. Dirty 
One of the 14 tribes of Galway. This door dates back to the 17th century and was discovered in 1905 on Abbeygate Street and relocated here. Also to our right are the sails of a Galway hooker fishing boat. This is the actual colour of the fishing sails, not an act of neglect. <laughs> He probably compresses when he's passing whatever it is. The sea has a stick in the radio maker. Oh, I think yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no, he's the one of these in the soul. That's what I got here. The death Yeah, back to Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Anne Shop. That's Anne Shop. That's where she goes. Galway has a city population of just over 75,000 and an urban population of just over 76,000. Galway people are commonly known as Galwegians or tribesmen. The latter derives from the 14 tribal families that control Galway city in the Middle Ages. The origin of the place name of Galway is still the subject of some debate. One of the more mythical myths is that the daughter of a local chieftain drowned in a river and her name was Galu. Thus the river was given her name. The chieftain was so distraught that he set up camp at the point where she drowned to warn his spirits and keep her company. Later a town sprung up around the point and was called Galu in her honour, which translates to Galway in English. The settlement of Galway dates back to the early ages. Its history truly takes shape in the early 13th century, under the control of the de Burgos. During this time, the de Burgos started fortifying the city and commenced the building of the city walls. Like the they needed assistance in controlling the city and the vast surrounding area, so he invited other well-to-do merchant families into helping with the task, and they in turn 
ਖੇਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੋਂ